Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when the Wiper Party leader, Stephen Kalonga Musioka, went to take the nomination paper to contest for the Speaker of... By, in the beginning it was National Assembly, and then it jumped to the Senate. Personally, on this channel, I was of the view that Kalonga Musioka should not reduce himself to a Speaker of the National Assembly or the Senate. I thought that Kalonzo has other roles that he can play within Azimio, whether they are in the government or out of the government. But Kalonzo went on, he proceeded, he took the paper, and uh, he returned the paper, meaning he already assigned and he was ready to contest for the position of the Speaker of the Senate. So that was the General National Assembly, Kwamarende. But we understand very well that as Mio had numbers in the National Assembly, but in the Senate, of course, there was a difference of, was it two or one senator there? And so, in this contest, we were waiting to see how the Senate was going to vote if they will throw their support behind Karondo Musioka or the Kenya Panther candidate, Amazon Kingi. But before the voting happened, the clerk at the Senate came out with an announcement or a notification that finally Kanonga Musioka has decided to withdraw from the contest of the Speaker just a few hours to voting. And that prompted the Azmiola Umoja Senators to walk out of that chamber. In fact, not all of them voted walked out but while they were ODM na wiper they walked out watch this video shortly and after this we want to continue with this conversation to understand why Kalonga Musioka withdrew from this race Honorable Senators pursuant to standing order number 8 a candidate may by written notice to the clerk withdraw his or her candidature before a ballot is started. In this regard, I wish to draw the attention of the Senate and Honorable Senators that this morning, 8th of September 2022, by a letter reference WDM stroke SEN stroke GC stroke 22, dated 8th of September 2022 and addressed to the Clerk of the Senate, His Excellency Honorable uh, Musioka Stephen Kalonzo withdrew his candidature for the position of Speaker of the Senate and his name will accordingly not be appearing on the ballot paper. <laughs> Honorable Senators. Honorable Senators. Please sit down. Sit down. Honorable Senators. Now we are continuing with the final discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and the end on comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, first of all, before we go to the issue or reason why Alonso withdrew from the race, I had two things in my view why I was feeling that it might not sound well for Kalonga Musioka to go and contest for the Speaker of the National Assembly. Because the first question I asked myself was that since Wetangula is contesting for the Speaker, Amazon King is contesting. And we know Amazon King is the party leader of the PA party. Senator Masika Wetangula is the party leader of Ford Kenya. And the question is, once you become the Speaker of the National Assembly, then you should not play partisan politics. That means you should not hold a position of maybe a party leader. 
So hapo nao sijui Ford Kenya party inaenda kuwa na which party leader. I don't know also what is going to happen in the PA party. Who is going to be the party leader of PA party? So I was looking on this night and then I was trying to compare. Okay, Wetangula can start to go that route because he has only seven members of parliament. Though with a good number of MCS, two governors and one governor, not two, one governor and a senator. But the question is, now we are talking about Kanonzo Musioka who has a party that is a parliamentary party, Wiper party. Because Wiper has managed to get 26 members of parliament, 24 members of parliament, they have three senators, they have three governors. This party has qualified to be a parliamentary party in the Republic of Kenya. So, why do you reduce yourself being a party leader of such an instrumental party to a speak of the Senate, not even a National Assembly? Who was going to be the next party leader of Wiper Party for that period of four years? And who was going to play the party politics in this country for that period, because now you are the Speaker of the Senate. So people will see Kalonga as a greedy person who even is confused on which direction to go and a miscalculative person. That's why I was feeling it was just wrong for him to go into that direction. So on the 11th hour, Kalonga Musioka decided to withdraw. And the question is, why? Because if Kalonzo had not withdrawn from this race, he was, okay, if he was not withdrawn from this race, or if he could have not contested in this race, then he could have offered another chance to another person, maybe in Wiper or ODM, or even Jubilee Party, to contest for that seat. Whether you are losing, lose honorably, or whether you are winning, the same way Marenda did it. The first obvious reason would be that maybe Kalonzo realized that they don't have enough numbers. But the question is, did he just realize at the 11th hour that they don't have numbers? Or did not know from the word God that they don't have enough numbers? The difference was two senators. Why did he withdraw at the 11th hour? Rather than giving an opportunity to another person. Was it a plan to sabotage the Azmio? Or what was the reason behind this? Because seemingly, the senator, the way they walked out is like they were not aware. And if they were aware, then it was stage managed to happen that way. So that's the obvious reason, lack of numbers. Number two, could it be a sabotage? And I want to read a post from one of the supporters of Azmio, what he shared on the Facebook his name is Marigiri. I've been following so closely. And this is what Marigiri posted. Developing story. Today evening, all Wiper Party MPs voted for Wetangula as Speaker and they will vote for Gladys Bosiolei as Deputy Speaker. Earlier morning, Kalonga Musioka secretly withdrew his candidature for Senate Speaker post without involving some as new senators. Close sources inform me that tomorrow Kalonza is likely to sign a post-election coalition agreement with Ruto's Kenya Kwanza. In exchange, Kalonzo and Waipa will be given two cabinet secretary slots that is, that is devolution and foreign affairs interesting. That is Marigi's views. So we don't know, but according to him, that could be the reason behind this. Now, why is Kalonga Musioka being referred to as a watermelon every time? Even during the formation of Azimio, Kalonzo played the watermelon tune. He just came in at the later hour because he was pushing Mother Karua should go for the Speaker of the National Assembly and for him he wanted to be the running mate. Or Karua to your Prime Minister position. Yes, we understand Kalonzo in terms of delivery, he played very well. He has delivered immensely to the Asimio of Moda. But sometimes Kalonzo normally make wrong decisions. 
at one point he succeeded 207 kupita katikati akakuwa vice president and it's like Kalonzo has never stopped playing the same games i can agree with the marigiri because we know the same Kalonzo Mshoka in 2017 he went to an agreement with the president Uhuru Kenyatta and the Wiper party they signed an agreement with the Jubilee party to be part of Jubilee government when I went for handshake, he went for the same handshake. But Mdabad and Abachangula took a, a back seat. They never went into those coalitions. So sometimes he was doing it because Raila has already done it so that he's not left behind. behind. If he did that, what will stop him from going into an agreement with them? William Samuel Root. And how did the Kalonga Musyok... Uh, how did the Wetangula manage to get those huge numbers? More than 200, 200 votes against Marenda, who got 130,000. How many members of parliament does Azimio have? Remove even the UDM members, who are about eight. How many does Azimio have? If you remove those 10, then we can say, okay, 130 to 140. So the other ones, when you talk about it, to some extent, he is right. Some of the white party might have voted for Wetangula. Nawala were independents. That is another possibility. But the, tra the tragedy here is that whether Ruto won this election fairly or through rigging, the reality is that he will be the president. So Wetangula, Mdawadi, and the Kalonga Mshoka were playing second fiddle to Raila Molo Dinga. Kalonga Akiwa number two, Mudabadi number three, Wetangula number four. But these two, Wetangula and Mudabadi, got it right. Kama hata kama nukuiba. They got it right because at least they are going to form the next government. So, Wetangula being their speaker, Mudabadi premier, uh, prime cabinet secretary. The only way Kalonga should survive politically was to play the opposition role and avoid the other mere dramas. Because this is going to reduce him to a beggar and already it is going to blunder his chances in 2027 and 2032. Because even if he might not be winning in 2027, as about to know in Agwanga Shida, at least vying in 2027 will propel his candidature ahead of 2032. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. To put in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. See you in our next video.